again everyone today I'm going to uh, take you through my meal planning system um, I'm going to eventually do uh, I think three different videos on my whole time management system that I have working right now it really seems to be working for me and uh, so I thought I'd share it with you but the first component is the meal planning um, secondly I'll go through um, my weekly planning system and then my monthly long-term whatever you want to call it planner system but uh, all those will come in the next week or so so if you see something here that is not fully explained um, it will probably be in one of the other videos and I'll link them all together so that you can kind of follow along so today we're going to do meal planning and I have a section here in my planner for meal plans that's the first tool so let's just kind of go over the tools that that I need first um, this is a post-it note brand weekly planner is what they call it um, I found this at Target for about 11 bucks um, the first person I saw who used something like this was Amy at OCD much and I loved it but I could not figure out a way to implement it with what we were doing at the time in our family now um, I've been using this for about about two months now and I really love it and it's uh, I was able to implement it to the rest of my systems and it works out really well as I said this is about 11 bucks at my target I don't know how much uh, it is across the country um, but before you buy one be sure to do the research on it on uh, check your prices Amazon has them but they're like twice as much and at first I thought it was because it had more pages but I don't really think it does this came with um, 26 pages so 26 weeks which is six months and that was the same amount on the at least on the ones that I saw on Amazon and they were about 20 21 dollars or something like that I just I was really surprised um, plus I have a red card at Target so it was 5% off and uh, the next thing that I oh by the way this actually comes with um, post-it notes the two inch cubed ones but uh, and these are the ones that came with it these these um, here but I pulled them off because it was just easier for me to do it that way and then I also had some others that I think I got at clearance and these are the um, two inch cubes and any colors that you want would be fine one last thing on this it comes with um, I don't have them attached but it comes with some command um, products uh, I think it's a velcro thing that you can actually attach this to the wall I don't use that I find it's easier to just tear off the pages one at a time and I actually use uh, washi tape and attach it to the front of my fridge so I'll explain all of the top section in another video so what I want you to concentrate on right now is the bottom section and that's where I put my dinners and you can actually write it on here or use little flags whichever one you want to do so when I start my meal planning um, I oh last of my tools uh, my shopping list I just use uh, I'm, a, I'm huge on sticky notes just the uh, lined paper I love this it fits right in my purse and it's easy to use my pen and a little miniature sharpie and it doesn't matter what color uh, this week I was using um, blue because it that was just the first one that I grabbed okay when I do my meal planning 
I usually do it on Tuesday. I'm a little bit behind this week because of several different appointments that we had this week. Um, but that's okay. I'll explain all that when I get to the meals. Uh, I'll tell you why that's okay. Um, so I usually do my meal planning on Tuesday. That's actually the day that I clean my kitchen. And I, while I'm in there, I clean out the fridge and check the pantry. And um, then I do my grocery shopping on Wednesdays. A also, a lot of my gro local grocery stores start their sales on Wednesday. So it just works out easier for me to do my meal planning on Wednesday. Uh, I mean, sorry, on Tuesday. I'm <laughs> getting all confused. So when I do my meal planning, I'm planning from Thursday until the following Wednesday. Now you'll notice these calendars begin with Monday. So if you're using any other kind of um, planner or calendar, just adjust it to whatever day. By the way, this system that I'm using is not something that I created. You can find it on Pinterest all over the place. Um, I think I even saw a video on YouTube on it once, but um, I just kind of took a little bit of several people's suggestions and made it my own, which is what I love about YouTube and Pinterest and all social media. Okay, let's actually get started with the um, planning part of the system. Now, this is going to take me way longer than it usually does on a weekly basis to plan my meals. That's the other reason that I just absolutely love this system. It's so quick and easy and you can change it if you um, if something comes up and you need to change a, a meal it it's you don't have to um, go through a big big system as far as whiting anything out or messing up your planner and it's just wonderful. I used to actually keep this, these post-it notes, in my planner, um, my my book. But um, when I started doing this on the the paper thing and putting it on the fridge, the kids really liked it. They enjoyed knowing what was for dinner each night, and um, it was easier for me to and it was also a very good reminder every time I would go by the fridge I would take a look and I'd say oh I've got to I've got to start dinner soon okay so back to what I was doing <laughs> I keep getting interrupted in my planner I have a tab for meal plans as you saw and these are all of the chicken dishes that I'm making right now I don't, I don't have all of the chicken dishes that I've ever made <laughs> on here. These are just the ones that we like the most, and um, they're quick and simple, and um, this is, the, the kids really like them. So um, they, these are my chicken dishes, and these are color-coordinated, and I'll explain why in just a minute. These are my beef dishes. You can see those. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skip the yellow tabs for right now, and I'll, I'll come back to that in a moment. And these are my pork dishes. And these are my... Um, vegetarian slash pasta dishes. I don't have a whole lot of those because I have two 16 year olds, a 12 year old, and a husband, and they're all boys and they want meat. <laughs> and then I have just a freezer inventory that kind of helps me plan. And then now back to the yellow ones. These dishes are kind of a catch all. This is everything that doesn't really fit well into another category and um, instead of having another category that was like fish seafood dishes or um, I don't know um, 
something like pizza. I make a barbecue chicken pizza. Um, that could be a beef dish if I did um, a ground beef pizza. It could be a chicken dish or it could be a pork. <laughs> you know, you just never know. Um, dinner out um, could be anything. Um, sandwiches, it could be any kind of protein. So, um, I wanted to have something that was kind of a catch-all. I also wanted to have a couple of um, notes, uh, sticky notes that were for leftovers because we do usually have leftovers at least once a week. And I sometimes order pizza here and then sometimes I make a pizza and my kids wanted me to have like a, tell them if it was going to be homemade pizza or if we were ordering in. And then um, grill something good. The boys like to grill, and my husband really enjoys it. And since it's springtime, we are uh, going to be grilling a lot. And so I'll put that on there. Now you will notice that it looks like I just plan main dishes. And most of the time I do. We have a garden and we'll grow a lot of our own veggies. A lot of times things are on sale and so I just kind of plan the side dishes as I'm making my grocery list and uh, that comes at the end. That's the last step in this process. So these are all of the um, meals that are in the rotation right now. So then, the first step really is looking at the calendar and I, I usually start with this already filled out because I do this earlier in the week. I do this like on Sunday nights, Sunday afternoons. So at least it's already started through Wednesday because you remember I, I meal planned um, from the last Thursday to this Wednesday. So these are already planned out. Then on Sunday night I come in and do this top part and then here's where I'm starting on Thursday. Now tomorrow night is St. Patrick's Day so we are having corned beef obviously. <laughs> now one of the reasons that I color code these is um, especially if this is on the fridge and I'm um, not always standing in front of the fridge or always standing in front of my meal plan, I can take one look at this and see that we've had beef dishes four nights in a row, or we will this week. We don't normally do that. Uh, what happened yesterday is we were really busy and I was really, really tired and my husband called as I was getting ready to make the chicken pot pie that I had planned for yesterday. And he said, why don't I just stop at the store and pick up some ground beef and we'll grill out burgers. It was also 87 degrees in Nashville yesterday, so it was a beautiful day to do that. So we put burgers here. Then when he got home, he had also bought steaks and some chicken. So I can put the chicken in the freezer, but he really, really, really wanted the steaks. So I wanted to do that tonight because we're having the corned beef on Thursday. So normally we would not have four of those, but that's what happens. And here's what I was telling you where everything is so easy. I had homemade pizza scheduled for this night, and I had chicken pot pie scheduled for this night. All I did was remove the post-it notes and replace them. Simple, easy peasy, changing, change of plans. Love it. Okay, so I've got Thursday planned. Because we've had um, beef, I don't want to do anything beef. Um, and looking at what we've had earlier in the week, we do have quite a few leftovers. So I think I'm going to plan Friday to be leftovers. Normally on Friday, um, I do something, we don't have a set dinner time, I, and I do something that I can leave on the stove, like 
a big pot of spaghetti or some chili or soup or something like that or a casserole lasagna something like that um but and I, i'm really wanting and i'm going to put it on the meal plan i believe uh I'm wa- i've been wanting some white chicken chili but i it, I don't want to have it when it's nice and pretty outside. And Saturday, it's actually supposed to rain and turn a little cool. So I think that would be perfect for Saturday. And so we'll have our leftovers on Wednesday. We'll have our white chicken chili on Saturday. I mean, sorry, leftovers on Friday. White chicken chili on Saturday. And Sunday, I like to do something that... I don't have to think about and I don't have to babysit (laughs) Um, sometimes I'll get one of the kids to help cook and um, I'm hoping that it'll be nice enough Sunday to actually get out in the garden so I want to do something easy maybe a freezer meal Um, so I'll look at my meal uh, freezer inventory and we haven't had baked pasta in a while and I've got a couple of those so I'm going to do that and this is kind of like a a baked ziti Um, and only this one I used uh, penne pasta so that part's done now I move on to the next week and I've gone ahead and put in the dates and the header and let's see on Mondays uh, Monday and Tuesday um, I have something planned for the evenings with one of my, um, one of my kids has an event every Monday Tuesday and Thursday for a while so I'm trying to do really quick things that I can just stick in the oven casseroles things like that I think I'm gonna do sausage and peppers that's a pork dish. I've got some uh, Italian sausage in the freezer. Um, what the, I usually just cut up different kinds of vegetables, peppers, onions, potatoes, celery, carrots, blah, blah, blah. Put them in a casserole dish, lay the sausages on top of them, put them in the oven. Easy peasy, delicious. Um, and I don't have to babysit it. And then dinner is done. And on Tuesday, oh, let's do the chicken pot pie that I had on last night's menu. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do those because I have everything ready for those. And I'm probably just going to go ahead and do them and stick them in the freezer. So Tuesday, uh, we'll have one of those for dinner. And I'll just pull it out of the freezer. And then Wednesday... Um, because we didn't have pizza last night, I think I'm going to make my homemade pizza. We usually try to have pizza on Wednesdays at least a couple of times a month. We used to do it every Wednesday night, but the kids kind of got tired of that. My husband really got tired of it. So, my meal plan is done for the whole week. See, it really takes no time at all. And so, I'm done with my book. Um, all I need now is to pull this over here and make my grocery list and that's what I'm gonna do now and it looks like I have a lot of these things already in the freezer or prepared already so I don't have to worry about a big huge grocery shopping trip this week which is wonderful so that's my meal plan I'm going to go ahead and do my grocery list. I'll do that off camera. You don't need to watch me write down um, diced green chilies. (laughs) Nobody wants to see that. Um, I have really enjoyed this system. It's really been helpful. The whole family loves it. And it keeps me organized. It keeps it in front of my face, which is very beneficial for me. So, stay tuned for my planner video and the video that I'm going to actually explain what I do with this. 
and hopefully those will be up in the next week. I'm going to go ahead and film them in the next hour, but I will put them up later. And I hope you have a great day. I hope this helps. If you would like to see more videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. That lets me know that you want to see it. And if you have any questions or comments, um, put them below. And I'd love to read them. I'd love to see if anyone uses these um, the system, how you like it. I've really enjoyed it, and I'd like to hear your thoughts as well. Thanks so much for watching. Fly high, Pooh Bear.